Hi guys, welcome to a new episode of my RC Scrappy. Today's video was about the latest modifications on the plane and I finally was brave enough to do the first test flight using the transforming wing, so slats and uh, flaps. And we will see how this ended up, so let's have a short look at all the modifications and then let's jump right onto the flying field and let's do this test flight. First thing I changed was the RC receiver. On the 8-channel receiver I had no more channels left for additional functions like uh, towing servo, so I changed to a 14-channel receiver just to get additional functions. The downside is that it's around 10 grams heavier, but it's close to the CG, so not a big deal. Then I changed some hardware, some steel hardware to aluminum hardware. This is from the wheels and from the elevator. Like this, I'm able to reduce a few grams. Before the modification, the wheels were 64 grams. Then I also glued on the tires onto the rims because the tires wobbled a bit on the rims without gluing. So I glued them on and put it on the new hardware. And like this, I was able to reduce the weight of each wheel at around two grams. Then I bent the wheel axle on a hard landing and the inner side of the wheel axle is carbon fiber tube. So this carbon fiber tube broke. So I drilled out the carbon fiber tube and glued in some hardened steel rods like this. Uh, the axles are way stronger now. Then I didn't like the shape of the screws for the wing mount, so I sanded them down to a flat surface and put it on some silver paint, just because it looks better. It's a bit better in case of aerodynamics. And like this RC Scrappy is a bit nicer again. Then I moved the multiplex uh, positioning light system a bit to the front to improve the CG. Then I had to make some holes into the wing ends to replace LEDs. One of the LEDs broke, so I had to replace it. And I took some uh, plastic and cut it, uh, the shape of the covers for it, put some foil on it and um, painted some rivets on it, glued it on and like this I have a clean wing again. Then I changed the mounts for the wing rods. I didn't like the solution which came uh, from the factory. So I took some M5 screws and nuts and replaced the stock solution. The stock solution was a bit uh, rattling and um, had some play. And with the screw and nut solution, it's nice and clean. And I also like the look a bit more. Then RC Scrappy was ready for the first transforming wing test flights. On the first takeoff, I didn't use the transforming wing just to make sure that everything works fine on RC Scrappy before I start testing the slats. I also installed the Insta360 GO 2 camera on RC Scrappy just to be able to watch the movement of the slats during the flight. Like this, I was sure that everything works as it should. And as you can see, the movement is absolutely perfect. I wasn't sure if the servos were strong enough to push the slats against the headwind, but everything looked okay. They move a bit during the flight, but not a big deal, you cannot feel anything on the sticks about the, the movement of the slats, so I think everything is safe and, and works perfect. Then I did a few turns with slats uh, extended and with uh, no transforming wing activated, just to switch around and see how RC Scrappy behaves when changing the transforming wing position but everything went well, so I tried the first low pass just to see uh, how slow RC Scrappy comes in. Wasn't that slow, but that's not really surprising because RC Scrappy is pretty heavy. Stock weight of the carbon cup from Horizon Hobby is about 4.3 kilograms, and RC Scrappy, after all the modifications, is around 5.6 kilograms. So. This is 1.3 kilograms more. 
this is a lot of weight so I'm pretty happy with that much more weight how RC Scrappy behaves. Then it was time for a first uh, attempt for a touchdown and everything looked clean so far. We had a bit of wind so it was a bit uh, wobbling on the roll axle but everything went well. Touchdown was clean and you can also see how the slat worked during the touchdown. Then it was time for the second test flight. On the second test flight, I took off um, with slats and flaps activated, so the whole transforming ring in action. And you can actually feel that RC Scrappy lifts a bit earlier than without um, transforming ring activated. Uh, it was a bit a bumpy takeoff just because um, on throttle, uh, the nose lifts up a bit and if you remove throttle the nose goes down and if you have the transforming ring activated so it was a bit shaky but all good and then I did a few turns again and did a second attempt for touchdown and also on this touchdown everything went well went a, more, a bit more far but uh, as you can see you can really slow it down pretty nice and um, yeah, more test flights will follow, but I'm pretty happy so far how the test flights went and RC Scrappy is still healthy, so I'm looking forward to more testing of RC Scrappy. This is it about today's video. The transforming wing was used at 50% of the range which is possible for the slats, so there will be more testing with full flaps and full slats, full range of slats, so we will see how this will behave. But I am really positive that everything will work well. So thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next one, have a good time, happy flying, bye bye.